mean, first and foremost, I, I love to paint. It's the most central fucking thing I've ever done. I, I want to stay within the confines of the painting. You know, within, within that interaction. That person, that painting, that room, in whatever particular time. You know? Uh, I'm not really trying to be clever or subversive. Because these things can generate emotions that come from outside of the painting. You know? I mean, most people just look at a painting like it's a window or, or a television screen and, you know, like it's a scenario playing itself out in front of you. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the painting being representational. I mean, how do you... You're not, you can't ignore a thousand years of artistic execution and we shouldn't even try. Uh, on that same token, we're not doing math or studying history. We don't need to be weighed down by facts or right answers, is, you know, all I'm really saying. I mean, it's tough. It's how do you how do you justify a pretty picture today? You know, I can't paint a pretty picture and with with so much destruction around us. But at the same time, I don't want to glorify the destruction. So what's left? I'm not trying to create ideas or concepts. That should be secondary to to the expression of the painting. The experience of the painting should precede the intellectualization of the painting. You know, experience first, intellect second. You know, survival instinct overrides everything else. That's that's why I'm not really too worried, you know? Because we're eventually going to get to a, a point where we're, we change course or die. And I think most people will change course when faced with their ultimate destruction. You know, that's how change happens, but it's going to be slow, and it's, it might be a little painful. It's going to come out of the instinct to survive, you know? It's like a, like a flock of starlings. You know, they move, and they swell, and they swoop, but all of a sudden, you introduce a falcon to that equation, and now they're all doing things that they usually wouldn't, but the starlings around them react to this, and now you have, like, a chain reaction, a, a propagating wave of movement that is fueled by an instinct to survive. And they all do, you know, they don't run into each other and fall out of the sky. One or two of them might get picked off by the falcon, but in the end, the, the flock is going to be okay, you know? I mean, I, I don't want to paint compartmentalized ideas. I want to I wanna express freely the those uh, feelings that bleed into each other, that influence each other, that generate new thoughts and and new interpretations of consciousness. Because, you know, that, that's what life is. It's one thing leading to another, leading to another. <laughs> I want to create free from the restrictions of reality or perception or expectations or traditions. You know, just, just create free, man. You know, unapologetic, sincere freedom of expression, I guess, would be a good way to put it.